brothers and sisters of the celestial energy is brother wisdom. Okay, um, someone sent me a uh, had sent me a video on um this last posting, and uh, I can't seem to find it um, when I went back to say thank you. Um, of the corona energy and that was something that I have been um, focusing on lately and um, actually this is like the right time to talk about it because um, uh, this morning you know went outside check the temperature it's like a steady 21 degrees and I'm like okay just need to find out who is controlling this temperature gauge with this uh, microwave shit because um, they keep spraying the sky and controlling the temperature, spraying the sky. Because without the spraying, there's no way to control the temperature. And uh, we're getting ready to do what we got to do very soon. Um, what's happening on our planet? Let's talk about the science of uh, this um, evolution that's happening with our carbon bodies all right the science of this is very important because we need to see that everything is returning back to the original programs all right so the fight that we had on our planet that these uh archons and jataris had you know um placed upon us and basically they did whatever they had to do to get us down the energy that they casted out is coming back faster than they could imagine. All right. Um, there has been a very, very big decrease in earthquakes, which I'd already said in some past videos that we would know when the pole shift is near because there will hardly be no earthquakes. All right. All these earthquakes and then all of a sudden just slows down we know the pole shift is near all right and we're talking about the, the magnetic polarity all right we're talking about the magnetic polarity of our planet the electrical polarity because our planet has two poles all right it has an electrical pole and a magnetic pole um i was further north um yesterday um was further north um, I had to go to uh, my daughter my oldest daughter a Zumba class so I want to go check her out and um, I used the compass and the magnetic pole is almost east it's damn near east seriously so um, it's happening faster there than what they could imagine and everything is shifting in the manner that is supposed to shift okay so as we come into this so-called summertime all right everything is going to be speeding up even faster because right now we're watching what they're doing we're looking at their plans so we've already made the decision to make everything go faster all right so time has increased. Time has increased by three months. And we're getting ready, getting ready to increase time by another six months. We're doing this to speed up the pole shift process so that this one, so that it won't give these uh, orc beings, these Chitauris and these Archons and make halls and tall grays or whatever. So it won't give them the time that they need to implement a, a, a program to try to kill off as many um, carbon beings as they possibly can. So we're um, we're redacting their systems. Um, actually, what we're gonna I'm going okay. I'll go before council because we're gonna have to make this go even faster. We're gonna have to make it go faster than six months. We're gonna have to take it like a speed up time by nine months all right we're gonna give it the magic number nine um i'll go before council on this
But what's going to be happening is um, the plasma, because we talked about this, and all the all the formulas are all done, because I was like, okay, what formula I need to do now? What formula? And um, Supreme Cosmic Council, Mother Cosmos was like, you've done all the, all the, the, um, the formulas that need to be done. All right. And all the formulas have been done. Everything has been done. Um, many of them have been posted on Earth Children in Meditation. What I'll probably do is I'll probably just, um, do a repost, um, on the YouTube page and, um, kind of like go back a little bit because everything works and everything works according to energy, but you have to do the, the, the mathematics and all that, the, the formulas for everything to work the right way it's supposed to work. Um, um, I'm going to try to remember <laughs> some of these formulas because I have done lots of them and it's all according to the mathematical, uh, Masonic order. So the plasma is going to be increasing on the planet, all right? The plasma radiation is going to be increasing on the planet, which will give us the ability to um, activate the forces, the plasmatic forces, all right, which you have um, um, the wind is ran, it's ran on plasma energy, fire, water, it's ran on plasma energy. Now. When you deal with mag the magnetic fields, all right, the magnetic fields deals solely with a lot of photon uh, radiation and a lot of helium. Okay, helium operates the magnetic field, so it's important that we understand that the helium will be increasing at a heavy, heavy rate. And as well as the hydrogen, the hydrogen will be increasing All right, come this uh, summer. Um, right now you see a lot that's going on in China because the helium and hydrogen levels are so high, their um, frail um, synthetic bodies are um, being sub subjected to uh, unknown diseases and basically these diseases are deadly and they have no cure for them all right and it's because you know of, of, of their um, silicone bodies and they're the first to see this actually it's actually happening in Australia also but they're not reporting it okay they don't want you to know that their species are dying on the planet but um, this is why they're putting up a fight right now. They're trying to put up a fight, and they have a plan to try to euthanize us. All right. So we've got to um, get ready to pick up our games. All right. We got to pick up our energy, and that's why it's important for us to continue your meditation, continue Tai Chi. Those of you who are tapping into the scientific realm. Uh, continue to focus on the science. Um, I'm getting ready to do some some um, tests and some science, some scientific tests very soon, and uh, I'm gonna. Um, I think I'm gonna go live with it and um, do some testing on some energies and creating some um, some uh, vacuum fields right here on the planet. All right, we we'll create portals, which are nothing but vacuum fields. Um, so it's important that we, um, understand what's going to be happening. Now, what's going to have, what's going to cause us to be able to disappear is the high vibrational energy from the helium. All right. Helium is very dense. All right. And it's going to be very high vibrational energies from the hydrogen. So, you know, um, we are the only beings who can um, tell what the solar cycle is going to be. You know, they are already talking about. Well, you know, we're going to we're looking at a at um, a solar cycle twenty 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 one. A lot of sunspots. 
yeah, okay, they saw that last video, you know, <laughs> they saw the last video about all the um, the um, zodiac sim signs coming through the sun, which is going to cause that blast. So, you know, they're very scared right now. They're very scared because their forefathers put them here, and now all the plans that they did have are not going to be complete. You know, there's no 20, 20, 2050 for them. There's no 2030 for them. All right. So you must understand that they're, um, they're at the point where they said, okay, we're going to give up this planet and we're going to go. But you just don't do that. You, you, you just can't do that. It's like, no. You, you think you're just going to go without being punished? Your entire species and destroyed the, the, the entire ecosystem, the, the balance of the planet, this whole galaxy. You think you're just going to go? No. You got to die. All of you. You got to die. Because you got to pay for the, the sins of your forefathers. I, I just don't get that. Oh, you know, we're just going to go on a ship. We're going to go on you know, a No. You, you got to shed blood. I'm sorry. But no. It, is, it just don't work that way. So this is what's happening. Um, yeah, so the helium is going to be increasingly heavy on the ground. The hydrogen is going to be increasingly heavy on the ground, which is literally going to almost X out oxygen. All right, on the surface level of the planet. Right now, they're having a hard time with oxygen in the air. That's why they're trying to spray oxygen every day in the air. All right, but they're having a hard time with it in the air. Now, this is going to be ground level come the so called summertime. And they're having a hard time creating this. Uh, keeping up with this winter thing because the vibrations are rising all over the planet so it's something that um, we must see within the scientific realm of what's going on on our planet and I'm glad that that uh, video confirmed everything that I was um, focusing on it's the fact that everything is is expanding, but we're gonna to have to increase time. All right, so like I said, we increase time by uh, three months, and the poles shifted faster than what these uh, Archons Shataris um, expected. So now we're getting ready to shift time by another nine months because it's time to. Um, make some other things happen. All of our powers are going to be within this helium and within this hydrogen. You understand that helium is a force. They call it an element. Helium is a force. Hydrogen is a force. All right, all your elements that they have on the periodic table, even oxygen is a force, okay? Anytime you deal with an element that is that deals with fire, that is fiery, is a force. All right, so the force of helium is returning to the planet. The force of hydrogen is returning to the planet because this is what we're supposed to be breathing, and this is what gave us our abilities to operate, which is the helium, the hydrogen. The plasma radiation is going to be off the chain come this summertime. The plasma radiation is going to be immensely huge as well as the photon radiation so this is these are some of the things that they're watching you know and I'm, and I'm watching them their people are frying literally frying I want to share that video with you guys All right. their people are literally frying right now and and they have no cure um, they've got some new solution that they created to block against to try to block against the sun but when you can't breathe 
oxygen and the stuff of hydrogen and helium in the atmosphere, what do you think is going to happen to their sulfur bodies? Exactly. Spontaneous combustion. All right. And basically, we're going to be passing off energy because a lot of them are going to be wearing oxygen masks. And we're going to be passing off energies to them. All right. Because they have to pay. And, you know, we're going to end up having to, when all is said and done, all these buildings everywhere and, you know, it's just buildings, buildings, buildings. They literally destroyed nature. We're going to have to literally annihilate all these buildings, all the stuff that they, they, they all this plastic and all this stuff. We're going to have to, we're going to have to make it come into dust. It's going to take us a lot of work. To bring our planet back to where it's supposed to be. Because these beings came here and just literally tore our planet to pieces. Literally. There's some nasty, filthy beings. They are truly nasty and filthy. I mean, there's nothing about them that's clean. They're nasty people. Nasty humans is what they are. Nasty. Look at all the trash that they form. Every time you look at them, you go in the grocery store, you see all these boxes and these cans. Yeah, okay, you got the stuff packaged in boxes and cans, but that's trash. That's, that's that's all trash. That's that's filthy, nasty trash. And this is what we're dealing with. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of work to clean the planet up after they're gone. All right, but we're going to be in our much higher selves, and a lot of us are moving to our higher selves now. But as this helium and hydrogen rises, we're going to see um, a whole lot more um, activities going on on the planet, as we see now. They were saying that's an energy blob just outside the United States. They were trying to, in this last video I watched, and they were, the scientists keep telling this lie about Nibiru is going to be leaving. No, Nibiru is not going anywhere. Nibiru is here to stay. Nibiru is literally here to stay. Nibiru ain't going nowhere. All right? So just know that um, the science behind everything and the mathematics behind everything it's pretty much all been done, and uh, everything is going in motion the way it's supposed to. It's just you have to do the mathematics, and you have to wait for the energy to. Um, you have to wait for the energy to come up and meet the mathematical formulas. All right. So when you do the mathematics and you use those symbols, all those symbols are different frequencies and vibrations different energies, the thoughts behind them, and once you post this on the internal networking system, the internet, which is an organism, doesn't forget this. The internet stores this and waits for the energy to come in. And once the energy comes in, that's when the, inter the internal networking system implements bloop, 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 this right here, this right here, this right here, this right here. I am the mathematician. I'm the mathematician, and all the mathematical formulas and properties are just about done. All right. So yes, the hydrogen hydrogen will be coming, will be increasing. It's already in the atmosphere now. It's already in the lower atmosphere. It's in the upper atmosphere. But now the hydrogen and the helium will be coming down to ground level. All right. Everything is coming down to ground level. To restore the balance, and this is um, this is what kept the heat and the and the and the cool at the same time, the hydrogen and the helium that was here. So when they destroyed a lot of the trees and a lot of the the, the different things on our planet, what was left was oxygen, and oxygen became greater. But the trees survived on hydrogen and helium, and not so much of oxygen. That's why they had to kill the trees off, because their bodies are not able to breathe hydrogen and helium. They can only breathe oxygen. Our bodies are multidimensional, multi-elemental bodies. 
We can breathe oxygen. We can breathe helium. We can breathe hydrogen. We can breathe so many different um, uh, uh, elemental forces because this is what we, we were created. We were created by Mother Cosmos, with the extra extensions of the cosmos. So all these different elemental forces are going to be coming down. The hydrogen, the helium, the photon radiation is going to be exceedingly high. The plasma radiation is going to be crazy high. Now you're going to have radiation behind the helium. You're going to have a, um, a helium radiation. You're going to have hydrogen radiation. Which the oxygen radiation is going to be dissipated. It's going to be it's going to be the less. And this is what we're looking for. And this is going to be all happening in the middle of 2020. We told you, we told you guys that 2020 would be a complete massacre. You try to make it cold. See if that's going to cancel things out. The cold that you're creating is not going to cancel anything out. My people are vibrating at a higher rate, which means that the the the, um, the helium is already in play. This is why we're vibrating the way we're vibrating. Once we begin to breathe in that helium, our bodies will be become activated and and. Y'all can't stop this process. This must happen and this must be um, carried out the way it's carried out. You can't stop it. All right. So I just want to pass this message on to you guys. All right. The hydrogen is going to play out. The hydrogen is going to be going to give us the ability to cast out this energy from us. All right. That's why we're talking about creating the... Um, the um, The crystal energy. You gotta understand that when our crystals, the quartz crystals that we had, and we electrified them, and they turned into that light force. There was lots of helium and hydrogen. There was lots of photon radiation. There was lots of plasma radiation that was on the planet. All right. So things are returning back the way they're supposed to. Everything is returning to the normal program, to the normal balance. And we're going to be the supreme rulers again on our planet. And like we always say, orcs always lose. Orcs always lose. All right. That's just something that you can put in your body. You can go underground as far underground as you want to go. We're going to find you. And we're not going to allow you to return back to the surface again. All right. So you... you <laughs> You must shed blood. You must pay for the sins of your fathers and your current sins that you've created on this planet. The crimes that you created, the cosmic crimes that you created, you must pay for this. You got to. You got to pay for it. All right. Just want to give you some science update, guys. All power to the multi-sharpness, less energy beings. Peace to you all.